Oh no, look at the detail. Oh. The next item in my bag, we've got a brand new product this year that I'm really excited to be getting the chance to test out. Cause the all black Raiders jersey, it's the best in the nation. This is my 2023 football bag. Let's go! This brand new item in my football bag in 2023. This girdle's been through it and I'm still rocking with it. Paul. What's up y'all, welcome back to another video. Today I've got the highly requested and highly anticipated 2023 what's in my football bag video for you guys. And as y'all can see right here, this is my 2023 football bag. I'm right now currently down here in Australia. So we've got the UNSW Raiders logo branded bag here. This thing is huge and I got all the good stuff inside. As you guys can see here, it does come with a nice little shoulder strap. On both sides, you got room for your cleats and all your accessories in this bag. And there's a lot of stuff in here, y'all. Especially this year, I've got a lot new gear that I'm excited to be sharing with you guys. And shout out to the Raiders, man. If you guys haven't already, make sure you guys go follow the Raiders as you'll be able to follow along my season down here in Australia starting up in September. So I'm gonna be bringing you guys along on that journey. It's a big old bag. A little backstory behind the rainbow. This is a University of Hawaii inspired rainbow R logo for the Raiders. I know we don't look like the Las Vegas Raiders, but you know, we gotta stick to traditions down here as I am playing for the oldest football club here in Australia. Used to be known as the Bondi Raiders, now the UNSW Raiders. All right, y'all, so for the first item in my bag, we've got the carbon fiber two-in-one football shoulder pads. As you guys have probably seen in a variety of my videos so far, these are the best football pads that I've ever worn. Coolest feature about these shoulder pads definitely have to be the two-in-one feature as it's stated in the name. Oh, geez, hold on. As you guys can see here, we've got the carbon fiber shell with the back plate on the back. And then you've got the vest that then fits right into the shoulder pads itself. My favorite feature about the vest is that it does cover below my ribs. I still do wear a rib protector, but for those of you skill guys, that are wanting a little bit extra protection that's provided in the two-in-one pads. All it is is a carbon shell is then Velcroed onto this mesh vest where then you are fully protected. I love these pads. Literally, it feels like I'm not wearing anything. I've got extremely good range of motion, especially while I'm throwing. Man, they just look clean too. I love the all black look, especially with the carbon fiber. These pads do come in at $600, but there is a poly shell version of these shoulder pads that comes in at about $300. If you guys use my code AA6, you guys can also save yourself 10% off at checkout. Another feature that I really like is they've got a really military grade, strong, sturdy buckle. You guys can see right there. And we have this mesh strap. I found these to be just a little bit more comfortable than your traditional loop straps. At the beginning of the season, I was really curious how these pads would do durability wise and if they would actually protect me. Here's the durability review test for you guys. So as you guys can see, not only did I take a beating in Mexico, but these pads kept me protected the entire season. Literally my favorite item in my football bag has to be these two in one football shoulder pads. Oh no, look at the detail. Oh, oh. The next item in my bag, we've got a brand new product this year that I'm really excited to be getting the chance to test out, to test out. And that is a light football helmet. As you guys can see here, it's in that white and green colorway. It's already got the Raiders logo as I'm gonna be wearing it down here in Australia. I decided to go with an all white accents look in the front with a nice Nike chin strap cover, as well as I've got my favorite visor, which is the Friday Night Lights Shock visor on this helmet. The Shock Friday Night Lights visor is the only one on the market that can change from light to dark in a matter of minutes based on the environment. I'm a big fan of this feature, especially on day games. Y'all gotta cop one. Not only is this helmet comfortable, but just like the name, it is one of the lightest helmets that I've worn. You guys know I'm always trying to find the best and newest equipment and accessories to help me be the best player I can be out on the field. This light helmet paired with the two-in-one shoulder pads, this setup right here is undefeated. Now, I know some of you guys are gonna say this helmet looks like a bucket. Guess what, you're wrong. And have fun, keep on on wearing that helmet that weighs six pounds. And again, I know some of y'all are gonna go off on this helmet for the rainbow. Again, it's a Hawaii-inspired logo design. Shout out to the Raiders. I got another brand new product that I'm gonna be trying out this season, and that is a cute collar. The cute collar is designed to help protect the brain from repetitive subconcussive head impacts. The cute collar is intended to go around the neck 
and then have two areas which gently compress the internal jugular vein on either side. And what this does is cause an instantaneous increase in the blood volume inside the head, and that appears then to significantly reduce the brain's ability to move inside the skull. Doing a little unboxing here, the cue collar comes in this nice little protective case. Let me open this bad boy up. And this is what it looks like, y'all, right here. Now all I simply do is put it around my neck, and it now provides a little bit of compression on my neck, which helps increases the blood flow into my brain. In my travel kit, I also got a black and white sleeve that I'm gonna be applying to the collar in game. I know you guys have probably seen a lot of NFL players wearing Q collar, and I'm excited to get the chance to join the Q collar team. Up next, we've got my cleats that I'm gonna be rocking. I've already worn these a little bit down in Mexico, and these are the Vapor Edge Pros. Now these cleats have already taken a little bit of a beating. I'm gonna finish wearing them down here in Australia. And make sure you guys stay tuned because I gotta step up my cleat game. In 2024, I'm definitely gonna go with some custom cleats. But right now, I'm rocking the Vapor Edge Pros. They do be all right though, y'all. The next item in my bag, I've got my practice jersey. Now, as you guys know, I'm number six. This is what the Raiders practice jersey looks like on the front. And in the back, we're gonna be getting our game jerseys here in a couple weeks as the season is three weeks out. I also have another jersey and it comes in this white colorway, but it's also a reversible. This one's a little tighter. I ain't gonna lie, your boy's a big body nowadays. So this one's staying in the practice bag. Or if we got a rainy practice, this one will end up being busted out. Cause the all black Raiders jersey, it's the best in the nation. Up next in my bag, we've got a Jordan duffel bag, backpack, two in one. Now, for those of you guys that have been watching my videos for a while now, you know I always have two bags. One bag inside with all my accessories and clean clothes and gear items in my football bag. So then at the end of the game, all the good stuff can stay clean and dry in this bag while all my dirty and wet clothes are in the big duffel bag. Having this small duffel bag inside my football bag just helps me stay organized and hygienic before and after games. I know a lot of you guys always wanna know where I got this bag, but unfortunately Jordan doesn't sell them anymore. I'm really trying hard to find a bag alternative for you guys. Cause man, I've been rocking with this bag since college. It's been almost like six years now. It's now time for some of the good stuff. We're moving on to some accessories and staple products that are in my football bag. Starting with my Nike Vapor Girdle. This thing's been through it a little bit, y'all. Like, this girdle's been through it and I'm still rocking with it. I've got like seven of these Nike girls back home, but you know, I'm still rocking with the OG one and I definitely gotta get, you know, a new girdle because this thing is holy. Amen, hallelujah. The Nike Vapor Pro girdle we still rocking with it here's a unique item because you know your boys always mic'd up i am using this all white nike baseball belt now one thing i like about this the most is that because there is this buckle here i'm able to adapt my mic to this buckle so that it's not going to go anywhere because i still don't have one of those really expensive nfl mics yet i love the elastic band it's really adjustable and breathable so if any of y'all are getting mic'd up i definitely recommend getting yourself a baseball belt. If you're not, just stick with the normal belt. It's time for accents. Down here in Australia, I'm always gonna be going with a white on white on white look. As you guys can see, I got the double leg shooter sleeves right here that I'm gonna be rocking on both my legs so I can get that nice OBJ scrunchy look. Then on top of that, I got the long scrunchy socks. Hold on. The long scrunchy socks, like that L-O-N-G scrunchy socks. And then to keep my knees covered, I'm rocking the all white tights. Ever since Mexico Fields, which are basically just AstroTurf on top of concrete, did my knees dirty with turf burns, I'm keeping my legs completely covered now. Unless y'all are playing in the States where that turf is A1, I would recommend you guys do the same. My body got so beat up after playing in Mexico. This next item is gonna save me, I think, for the rest of my career. This item right here, y'all, is another new item that I'm gonna be rocking. And I didn't wear it in Mexico in the beginning of 2023. And that is two double shooter sleeves with elbow pads. Now hear me out. I'm not gonna show you guys right now my dusty, crusty elbows, but your boy took a beating in Mexico. And I have bursas on both elbows 
that I had to get drained weekly in order to even be able to play. Especially when the bursa on my right elbow was like bigger than my head, that's when I knew I had issues. And on top of that, if you slide in Mexico, you're still gonna get hit. So I'm done taking hits while I'm sliding, trying to protect myself, and I'm done with just beating up my elbows whenever I get hit. So I'm hoping this is gonna help save my elbows. Save the elbows. By rocking the double shooter sleeve, you guys know I've always been a big fan of Guns Out. Well, I'm still a fan of Guns Out, all right? So you guys better rock Guns Out for me, but just know I gotta be rocking the double shooter sleeve with the elbows. Did go with the white on white look because, you know, we're going with the accents all white on white on white on white on white while being down here in Australia. I miss going Guns Out, bro. But I'm telling y'all, like, I literally have, like, scar tissue in both elbows like if you pinch it you'll feel my weenus and all the cartilage like i'm telling you it's bad news like i even got scars still y'all can see right here it's already still a different color y'all i'm still recovering we're not done yet with more accents i am gonna be going with a white spat while playing down here in australia i got three of them because i want to keep them clean this one's gonna be for grass this one's gonna be for turf this one's gonna be for rain games i always try to do a good job of keeping my gear items clean and making sure my white stays white. Up next, I'm gonna touch on these real quick, but I got hamstring problems. I don't know if it's because I'm getting older or whatnot, but I wear two of these hamstring sleeves on both my legs, just for that extra compression that I like to feel on my hamstrings. If any of you guys have torn your hamstring before, anything like that, I definitely would recommend y'all doing this. Up next for accessories, you guys already know, especially as a QB, I always got three towels with me. I got two game white towels and one black towel. I'm gonna need to get a new black towel on. This is gonna get a little dusty too. No cat, no cat, no cat, no cat. All y'all should be wearing a towel, even if you're an old lineman, just cause it's a nice little drip look. All right, y'all, we're here at practice. I almost forgot one item, which is a headband. I just took this from one of my compression shirts and cut the sleeve off. Y'all definitely need a headband to help prevent the sweat getting in your eyes. And if you got that long hair and that flow, it's gonna help keep your hair nice and tidy when you're in the game. No cat, no cap. All right. It's time to practice here in Australia. Let's get back into the video. Yeah. Up next, we've got the wrist coach. Now, again, I sometimes do use my wrist coach. Oh, oh, we got my old team. The Gallos Negros. Yeah, don't, just don't look at that, okay? I got the UNSW Raiders logo on here. Gallos Negros. Make sure you guys stay tuned for the game day vlogs. They're coming back next week. I always like to have the logo printed on my wrist coach just because I think it's a nice, unique look and it adds to the aesthetic of the uniform. And to be honest, I really don't use my wrist coach for anything besides having the logo on my pants. Next item here, we've got the Evo Shield rib protector. Now, as you guys can see here, it comes in this nice shirt. Man, I've been wearing this thing since I was 14 years old. Twelve years ago. Now, as you can see here, this is the best, and it comes with two carbon fiber plated, customized to your body rib protectors. They fit right here. These things are lightweight and they fit well with the two-in-one shoulder pads. I've never received a rib injury while wearing these. Up next, it's time for the little details. As y'all can see here, I've got the tread cow thigh pads and a nice swaggy pair of knee pads. Looking at the knee pads first, this is all we got here, y'all. Nice, basic, simple. You can get a nice little rolled up pant look with these and it looks good. But on to the details with the tread cow thigh pads. As you guys can see, we got the cross. Shout out to the Lord Jesus Christ. And number six for my number. Both of these pads have taken a little bit of beating after playing ball down in Mexico. This also is a new item that I didn't wear last year in 2022. So I'm excited to be rocking these this year. And for those of you guys wondering, there's a very thin layer of foam here. So I still wear these thigh pads over my girdle thigh pads. Up next, we've got a Wilson game ball prep kit and the one and only the Wilson Duke. Down in Mexico, we always throw the NFL ball. And the interesting thing is because the climate is so hot, the humidity affects the leather of the ball. So if you guys are playing in anywhere where it gets real hot, you definitely need to get yourself a Wilson ball prep kit. The best thing about it too is you can tack the ball, which gives you that extra grip as a quarterback, especially when you get a brand new football, it's gonna come with that weird oil on that brand new leather that's really hard to grip. So this game ball prep kit is gonna help break in your football. And there's nothing like a well broken in football. No cat, no cat, no cat. The next item in my football bag is in this handy dandy little case. And that is my AA Custom mouth guard shout out to my boy dr mike for hooking it up with this mouth guard this is one of my favorite accents on my entire uniform and man i still don't get how i have a custom mouth guard but I don't have custom cleats make that make sense the next two accessory items i have are an all black sports star chin strap 
and a glove. And because I'm a quarterback, I just be rocking this on my left hand in games. Man, I used to wear two gloves while playing college football. I swear I could throw that ball 78 yards. The next items in my bag, I got two Gatorade towels. Now, there's just still something about that Cam Newton look. When you come off the sidelines, not only do my hands, one, get sweaty, but two, wearing the little Gatorade towel over your head like Cam. Man, you know, shout out Cam Newton. One of the OGs. Wearing that Gatorade towel just like this is definitely tough. Man, I wish Cam Newton was still in the league, man. The next two items in my bag, one is a heavy duty water bottle that I carry around with me everywhere so I stay hydrated and a mobility and recovery bag that I use with me before and after games. All I got in here is a black lacrosse ball that I use to roll out on my body, some bands, more bands, and one of my favorite items, this handy dandy travel foam roller. I also have this Recover Mini massage gun that I take with me while I'm on the bus. Always trying to make sure that my muscles are loose. It'd be nice if I had a girlfriend that would like, you know, be able to like massage my back or something like that. Anyways. Up next, I got two headphones. One headphone is an over the ear, simply just a waterproof brand one that I got off Amazon. Same brand, I got just these over ear smaller ones. Now, I usually wear these during pregame and these when I'm on the bus and I'm really trying to lock in. I'm gonna tag these down in the description below. Both of these were, I think, like $20 each. Both of these you can get on Amazon for at least $20 and I've had them, like I said, for about seven months, so they're durable. And because they're waterproof, I'll wear these in the sauna or in the shower. Up next, we've got the snacks. Now, as you guys can see here, I got a first form meat stick. I always carry around me when I need some protein. I got some new Australian gummies. Y'all know I love my gummies, especially during the game and at halftime. Then I've got a Powerade mix that I always put inside my water bottle. And last but not least, I got my cowboy hat that I'm always wearing with me while I'm playing ball overseas. I have this thing on the sideline and it's one of those cool aesthetics that I've carried with me from back home. So with that, that is everything that is in my 2023 football bag. Thank y'all so much for showing love and support. Make sure you guys stay tuned as I got more game day vlogs coming soon. Love y'all.